Hello everyone and welcome into more Sushi Go here on the Sorcerer Network. Uh, this will be the last video that we do of Sushi Go uh, this week um, before we transition to something else in the morning slot. But don't worry if you're enjoying it, it will come back at some point. Uh, 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 I really enjoy playing this game so uh, I'm not gonna, um, not gonna stop. Um, Two things are our first pickable here. Um, Squid Nigiri is nice because it's a defensive move. Um, Sashimi is nice because it's a 10-pointer. That is not what you want to see, though. Um, you don't want to see two other people go Sashimi. Um, however, um, the nice thing there is that um, it looks like there's going to be a good amount of stuff here. Let's hedge a little bit by grabbing this Wasabi. Um, and then I'll also grab a dessert here. Um, hopefully I can grab, I know this next hand had a bunch of nigiri in it. Um, and so, um, yeah, so now I can at least salvage six points. The issue is I think three of us are going to miss out on the sashimi bonus because, um, there were only six in this and three of us went it. So that... What I maybe should have looked at is, hey, I'll take the guaranteed three points, and 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 that mitigates the risk. But I think ten points is just worth it. And I think also we've salvaged this enough because now we've got three points for the dumplings. We have six points from here. Like we've salvaged this enough that this isn't the worst opening. This isn't the worst opening I, like I've ever had. You know, right around, uh, you know, three points off the leader. Um, a lot of dessert that round. Um, so, yeah, for what that could have been of what uh, versus what that turned into, I'm pretty happy. Um, wasabi is 100% um, what we're taking here. Um, I'm not doing the sashimi thing again. <laughs> uh, looks like we all take wasabi. Um, I am, because two other wasabis are here, I'm going to grab this salmon nigiri right now, um, and just lock in my six points rather than try to, um, oh gosh, that's, that's <laughs> very upsetting. Um, I am going to take the squid nigiri though, because I do want to take it defensively. My hope is that my opponent down here also does that. Man, that's the fact that that wasabi still there is is very interesting to me. Wonderful, that is exactly what we wanted him to do. Um, I am going to grab a dessert here. Um, uh, uh, I I don't want to be the least. Um, which I mean, now it looks like I'm just going to be the most, but that that still is not going to be a bad. Um, I mean, ultimately, this is just, it is what it is. Um, but, I mean, still, it's going to be a decent round. Then, a 15-point round, looks like, um, which is a, which is nice. And then, yeah, there's the lone sashimi in this uh, <laughs> in this one. So, yeah, I mean, 50-point, that was tops in the round. So, um, and puts me very much in this game. Um, now, he's kind of got to hope for a, a really nice third age. Um, I guess age um, in Seven Wonders mode. A nice third round. Um, okay. Um, probably chopsticks is what I want here. Um, tempted to take the squid nigiri defensively. But, um, okay, so two people go sashimi, no one goes wasabi. That's nice. Um, I think I just grabbed the dumpling here. I don't feel the need to uh, use my chopsticks right here. Um, I'm going to grab the dumpling and the squid nigiri. Once again, interesting that two people went sashimi. Um, I'm going to grab a maki here. Okay, so he does two. So as of right now, I'm in the least, okay, no wasabi in this, uh, uh, in this age. Age. I keep, I'm in Seven Wonders mode. All right, so it looks like I am going to be tied for the least dessert because I don't believe there's any dessert in this um, in this hand. Okay, so um, I don't need to worry about Maki here. I don't think I'm going to win any bonuses there, so I might as well just take the point. Um, weird that squid in the gear. Well, that's... <laughs> uh, yay! 
Uh, all right. Hey, look, a point. Anytime you can get a point with your last card, that's that's never a bad thing. Okay, so not a fabulous age. So, um, age. I can't, did it again. <laughs> uh, a third round. Um, anyway, so yeah, the 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 nice thing is because we had three of us tied. Um, you know, we only got minus two, but again, that dessert bonus pushes this guy over the top. So maybe I'm I'm you know miss misplacing. Uh, the value of um, misplacing the value of dessert, and maybe I need to be a little bit more um, uh, aggressive on it. Really, what that game came down to was while we recovered well after the first round where we missed the sashimi bonus, um, had we completed that, that would have really you know put us in a much better position. But, you know, that's just kind of how the game goes sometimes, especially in that first card. You don't really know what anyone's going for, which is why Chopsticks and Wasabi are always really, really safe plays because chances are you're going to see Nagiri. There, there's really never going to be a situation where there's no Nagiri in, in, in a round. Um, and then same with chopsticks, like there's probably going to be a time where you want to draw two cards. Um, that, that, that's pretty universal in a round where, whether it's two tempura, whether it's, uh, two dumplings, whether it's just it, what you want to nab a dessert as well as another card. Like it, it, it's, it's just, it, it's, it, it just always is going to be a good play. Um, Whereas with like taking sashimi first round, you're kind of you're you're kind of praying that one of two things. One, you're hoping that well, I hope there's enough sashimi to go around. Um, uh, I hope there's three in this. When we saw our second round, there was one sashimi. That was it. Um, and then you're hoping that for a situation like what happened there, like that two other people don't don't get it because if that happens, it becomes darn near impossible. There were six in there. Like uh, there were six. Um, there were there were six sashimi in there. Plenty for two people to go for it. But when you just did three, that uh, that was the issue. Okay, can I just... Oh, I am part of this game. I was like, can I just join this game? Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So hopefully we'll see some some better luck here. I think this, this game is just very hard to get a victory in. Um, it's just always so close and can come down to just a lot of luck and then like one or two decisions. So, like, this is a situation where because there's no great first pickable thing, I am going to go sashimi, and this is what we want to see with that happens, where um, nobody else is going sashimi. We know there's another one in here. Highly doubt that people start taking sashimi here. Um, happily, we'll take chopsticks here. Um, it's not... Not too late to take that. Again, grabbing two cards is always going to be nice, especially because I know that um, uh, that sashimi is coming up. Um, but, like, here's a perfect example where I can grab two dumplings here, and that's three points. I, I like that. Okay, hate that play. Absolutely hate that play there, because that's just, that's a straight-up defensive block, and that's just annoying. Um, uh, so, not going to complete that. Um... Um, I'm going to grab this salmon nigiri um, at, at, for a way to try to get salvage some points here. But yeah, this this here, he looked at that and went, I don't want my opponent to, to, to get the 10 points there. Which, I mean, I suppose is a good play, but man, that's an annoying one. Um, and I'm not even in the... In the in the um, running for most Maki here. I'm second most, but yeah. So like there's eight. So the fact that he... Got, he was able to play a dead card and still had the top scoring round is is very annoying. Um, all right, I think that grabbing wasabi here is probably more likely to net me some big points. Um, I mean, I could go double wasabi here, but no, I think I just grabbed chopsticks here now. 
You better bet that I'm going to be grabbing some some sashimi here. I hope you don't hit this bonus, you jerk. Man. Um, I'm going to use the chopsticks here. This is maybe a little bit early, but... Um, yeah, okay, that's a bummer that the salmon nigiri was there. Um, man. Um, no one's been taking dumplings, so I suppose I will, even though I don't think there's many dumplings in here. At least it's some kind of points. Ugh, it's really annoying that I got blocked out of that last round. Okay, Healy's misses there. That, that feels good. That's annoying, but, um... I think I'm going to take the chopsticks here simply on the grounds that then, yeah, I'll just grab these two. This isn't a fabulous play. It does put me in decent shape for Maki. Um, at least getting second most, maybe. Yeah, it's just a dead card. Um, all of us got dead cards. All right, so... Um, we're still in this if we have a if we have a really amazing age here, but uh, um, so I mean at this point we just got to go for we got to go big, um, which is um, uh, the sashimi play here, um, and then we kind of got to hope that we hit something else and that like other people don't hit things. Um, okay, so there's. There's the 10 points. Uh, of course, he gets both squid and nigiris. That's a decent amount of points there. Um, I'm going to take this salmon nigiri um, to kind of block out this um, here. I guess I forgot that I passed that to him. Um, ugh, I don't know. Um, I suppose dumplings because it's got the potential to have more points. Um I mean, this will be a decent scoring round. Um, I just don't think that my opponents are having a worse round that... Um, you know what? I'm going to grab this wasabi. This is, Maki's a dead hand, dead card as well. I'm not going to get most or second most. So um, I, I might as well grab this wasabi with the idea that maybe there's... A, like someone passes an egg nigiri to me. Okay, it was just sashimi. Um Whatever. It is what it is. Um, all right. So, um, this player down here won the game. So yeah, I definitely took the, took a big L there. Um, but it happens, um, you know, uh, uh, it, on, on both, both games, it was that, that not being able to complete the sashimi bonus that really affected me. Um, but it happens. Um, alrighty, so if you are enjoying the content, go ahead and hit that, hit that subscribe button. Again, tomorrow in the morning slot, I will have something different. Um, we'll come back to Sushi Go, we'll come back to Seven Wonders Duel. All this morning slot will kind of rotate. Uh, 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 just to kind of give you a peek behind the curtain, one of the big problems with Board Game Arena is that, like, in, in games like Sushi Go and Ticket to Ride and Seven Wonders, Seven Wonders Duel, there are quite a lot of, um, people playing, whereas with some of the other games, you don't get that. Um, and so you can wait like 20, 30 minutes to try to, uh, try to be matched up with someone. So if you ever see me just go back to an old favorite, um, it probably means that I just couldn't find people to play some other games. So, um, anyway, um, with that said, something, either it'll be something new or it'll be something, uh, we just go back to, uh, who knows, uh, 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 it, it'll be a grand mystery. So that's why you should hit the subscribe button and we will see you next time.